Hey everyone, welcome to JS Cafe and in today's video, we are going to solve a very interesting problem in JavaScript that is task scheduling. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So uh, in this question, uh, you will be given an array of objects and each object is basically a task that has a ID and a dependencies. So a uh, ID means what is the task, right? Like it is a task A, B, C, D, E, N, F, and so on. And it has certain dependencies on other tasks. For example, task A is dependent upon task B and C. Task B is dependent upon task D. Task C is dependent on E. And uh, task D is not dependent upon any task. So there is empty. And task E is dependent upon F and task e is independent it doesn't depends on any other task so by dependency what we mean that is task a will not be scheduled or executed until and unless we execute b and c similarly task b will not be executed until task d is executed and similarly task e will not be executed task c sorry task c will not be executed unless we execute task e so right now task d will be executed it will be printed out uh, task e will not be executed since f hasn't been executed now now we come to f then f can be executed because it is not dependent upon any task that is fine so this is how we have to you know execute task so the moment the dependency array of a particular task is empty it is eligible for execution and we have to execute it right away so we have to execute this task so we can see that task d and task f can be executed immediately and when task uh, d gets uh, executed we can literally remove d from a uh, dependency of b and when f get executed we can remove f as a dependency from e so ideally uh after executing d and f uh, i think we can execute b we can execute um, e right and then execute c because e was executed and then execute a so this was the logic this is how this schedule will work and we have to write a logic in javascript to execute this array so let's type uh, into the code so uh, I think you got the approach. So what I'll be doing is uh, the moment any task get got executed, it suppose uh, task D got executed. So I'll find which task, you know, is having D as a dependency and I'll basically uh, slice this off uh, uh, element D from the array so that uh, we can have one dependency less than the previous one and we'll continue to uh, do the same and we'll check that if any task is eligible for execution then we'll execute it right away okay fair enough so let's uh, write the code so we'll have a function saying const um, execute tasks okay this is our main function and previous to that uh, let's suppose we have to maintain some pointers so uh, let uh, for example const total uh, tasks right so total task is schedules dot length okay uh, we have let um, uh, total nodes total task executed uh, initially we haven't executed any task and we have let uh, current task so we'll mark it again at zero which means that we are pointing to this zeroth pointer uh, of the array okay so we'll use these now um, let's write the code so we'll have a logic saying that while while i haven't executed uh, every task okay so while uh, total task executed is less than total task okay while this is true the moment uh, we we become equal to the total task execu executed uh, then it means we have a, a ex executed every task and there's no need to iterate further so while we have a task to be execute executed what we'll do is we'll um, ah, so we'll get const 
task equals to schedules of current task okay this would give us the task object now i'll check that if if not task dot dependencies and not task dot executed executed uh, i'll uh, tell you about this part later uh, for now just bear with me so what i'm uh, if we read this logic correctly what it means that is uh, this task is executable which means that it has uh, dependencies array as empty right so there is no element or it's it's better to write if not dependencies dot length okay and the task is not executed yet okay i'll tell you why we need to uh, have this check task dot executed but uh, for now uh, just think of it that this makes a checks that if the task was not executed previously then execute it right now so we'll do a console dot log uh, of uh, task dot id and i'll mark task dot executed as true okay because this is executed now fair enough and uh, also i'll add a logic saying that remove task remove tasks from dependency steps okay dependencies and i'll pass task dot id okay so what this function will do is let's create this helper function for us const i think the name is clear enough uh, it gets the id and what uh, i'll do is i'll basically iterate through every element and i'll slice off the part okay so uh, what we can do is uh, schedules dot for each uh, task comma index okay, let's see if we need that or not and const uh, okay okay i don't think we need this index right now okay we'll call index equals to task dot schedules dot index of id okay so if we found a id in the schedule uh, dependencies array uh, sorry it should be task dot dependencies my bad oops task or dependencies dot index of id so if our task if we found a the id inside the dependencies then what we do is if index is not equals to minus one uh then uh, what to do nothing just task dot dependencies dot splice and at the index and we'll remove one element from there okay so this is the remove task from dependencies and what if uh, we cannot execute this task okay so the moment we come to a point where we find that we are not able to execute this task then we have to make a you know a visited check added on that particular task so that the the next time we iterate over the task we remember that we have already uh, visited this task before and uh, this was not executed earlier this is the second time or the third time or the nth time we are retrying to execute this task okay so um, and one thing more that a task can be visited at most uh, this many number of times total task if suppose there are uh, you know certain uh, um, six elements okay six elements uh, in this array so we can visit this task a at most six times okay it doesn't make sense uh, to visit visit it uh, more than six times because if we are visiting this uh for uh, seven time or the eight time then this means that there is a cyclic dependency in this uh, uh task schedules what i mean by uh, cyclic dependency is that let's suppose uh you know uh you change this dependency to c 
now notice that task c is dependent upon e and e is dependent upon c so these two are kind of running into a deadlock okay so these this would uh, run into a cyclic dependency situation and we also have a we should also have a feature to detect it so um, for that part only that would be the basic check so that means that we cannot visit a task more than uh these many number of times the moment we run uh, above this number then it is a cyclic dependencies and we don't need to execute anything okay that's one thing now coming back to this part uh we have a task and we got the situation where we can execute a task now let's run to a part where uh we write else uh, or let me write it over here else if if else if task dot uh, visited or let me write it like this way if not task dot visited okay then task dot visited equals to one okay uh what we have to do is right so else what task dot visited plus equals to one okay so this is one case over here and also we need to have a check that if else if task dot visited equals to um total task okay right so the moment uh we come to a point where we are we have visited it for the nth time okay then we can or or much better uh total task plus one for example so the moment we execute uh moment we run to this condition then uh it is uh wise to break this loop okay uh, or before that we should write uh console dot log cycle form and we should break else uh we can increment the task as it is and which each iteration we have to increment the count of current task so what we can do is in this case uh, if current task equals to uh, equals to uh, total task uh, minus one um, then um, current task equals to zero else current task plus equals to one fair enough and let me call this execute tasks with this i think this should be fine uh let us run this once and see if we have any errors node schedules.js perfect so we executed d we executed f and the moment we uh, came to this part c and e it told me cycled form now let me change this back to f and let's see if we are able to run this part node schedule.js okay so d f b d uh, f uh, okay so d f b was executed um okay then e was executed fine c was executed and a was also executed perfect uh i think the cycle formed is printing because so the problem was that first of all uh, we need to change this uh, parameter like uh it should be like uh, if total visited is greater than the uh total task and one more thing is that we have to increment the total task executed right so the moment we execute any task we should we have to make sure that the total task executed should also be increased to one right uh, unless so that uh, this while loop can break and um, let's write so d f b e c a correct fine so uh, yeah so this was the code for uh, task scheduling and i hope you like this video and uh, if you have any questions uh, related to the uh, output uh, related to the uh, approach uh, feel free to ask me in the comments and uh, yeah this was all in this video till then take care goodbye see you in the next one